permit me to invite my brothers and sisters, the amazing ministers of God, Minister Joe Praise, Minister Moses, please, Minister Ada, M and M Revelation, as they come up stage. So we honor our sister, Mrs. Osinachi. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for them. Put your hands together. Celebrate them. Ooh. Ekuembe. 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 somebody before you will know how painful it is you know today this afternoon when I got to the hotel I just spent some time to watch her clip again so powerful so anointed so her last um, some, some months ago herself and her twin sister in Onicha during the usual praise so powerful so anointed we will miss her physically we just thought to properly honor her as um, brothers and sisters we are not competing with anybody we are complimenting each other so we just thought to bring everyone here can we just please pray for her immediate family we are not trying to find out the reason the circumstances surrounding her death that is not important at the moment we are just praying for the family for God the children four kids right we're praying for them I've been an orphan since 1998 I know what it is to lose a parent okay so we're going to pray for them that God will strengthen them. God will cause helpers, true and genuine helpers, to come from everywhere. Please, I want you to join every one of us here for a minute or two. Let's pray for them fervently. Open your mouth and pray for them right now, everybody. Come on. Please pray for them. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus for strength, oh God, for strength, oh God. We pray for strength, oh God. We pray for courage. We pray for you, oh God, to encourage them, strengthen them, oh God. Let true and genuine help us come to them. Take this pain away from them, oh God. Help them in this time. Be their comforter. Be their true helper. Be their lover. Jesus, we speak your word over her family. We ask, oh God, for your love to be extended to everyone around her. Her children will pray. Oh, Rabbi, say we pray for her children. Lord, you will come through for them. Jesus, you will come through for them. Father, we ask for you to guide them. They will not miss their way. 
Lord, you will guide me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I want to call on the um, minister um, and his wife to just pray for them. Would you, would you take turn just pray for them, please? In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask that you comfort that family. We ask that you direct them in the right steps to take. There won't be more conflicts in the name of Jesus. Above all, we ask that you protect those children, that another voice will rise. It won't be the end of Osinachi's voice. One of our child will take over in the name of Jesus. During the burial, we ask that there will be more conflicts. Make everything go according to your will in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we decree in the name of Jesus that your peace is with the family. We decree your peace that passes all understanding is with the family in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we stand in the gap to decree that there shall never be heard such a thing again in the midst of ministers. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree that this is the end of death by domestic violence. In the name of Jesus, and we decree in the name of Jesus, we terminate. We terminate this occasion and we decree that it will not reoccur in that family anymore. In the name of Jesus, it shall not be a pattern that will be known in that family. In the name of Jesus Christ, we destroy such pattern and we decree shall never raise this ugly head again in that family. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. So lastly, we just ask Minister Adar to pray, please. You are still a cool man. What you say will come to pass. Lord, we are comforted because believers don't die. But Lord, we pray that what the devil has planned for evil, you by yourself, as only you can, will turn it around for a testimony. Lord, we pray for healing. We pray for the brethren at Dunamis. We pray, Lord, that you touch them, that you comfort them. We pray for Dr. Paul and Nietzsche and his wife, that you strengthen them. We pray for the choir where she led, that even all those that looked up to her, their vision would not fail. Lord, we pray for every minister of the gospel, using this once here ourselves as a point of comfort. Our voices will never stray. They will never go silent. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for her little ones. These ones will not be discouraged. They will not become enemies of the gospel. But by your spirit, they will champion the cause of the gospel. Lord, we pray for this city of Abuja. That you comfort everyone. You wipe every tear away. You are still a cool man. Even now, easy, there is no one like you. <laughs> Let's leave it up. A cool man. Everybody. A cool man. Lift your hands. A cool man. Father, Lord, this last single prayer, we pray for the heart cry of any woman, anywhere, under this siege or this affliction of domestic violence. And Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that what has been unspoken, now let it speak. And the wrath that has been in a place of agitation by siege now let it sleep 
we come against the insurrection of spiritual wickedness and every spiritual terrorism that has been in a state of affliction in homes and matrimonies, in relationships, not just between husbands and wives, spouses, but even between parents and children, any form of abuse right now. And Lord, we ask that a channel that communicates by righteous faith, Lord, let it now be opened up from the body of Christ into our society and our community. Lord, we ask for a banner of love, even to heal and to bring a seal, even as we open up a way of deliverance and escape, that of a truth, even the ones who are bound by wrath may be delivered, and the ones who are bound in silence may speak out. In Jesus' name we pray. All right. In, in the grace, in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Good morning, everyone. God bless you all.